Um, so last night I sat up for three or four hours writing letters to um, the heads of Oxford colleges, the heads of universities, the heads of colleges, uh, recommending that they follow the excellent example of Worcester College and simply ignore the algorithm, ignore the appeal process and accept students uh, on the basis of the um, of, of, of the predicted grades that the teachers provided. Um, if this is good enough for UCAS, it's good enough for university entrance. Otherwise, the whole thing is a scam and maybe has been for years. Uh, I would like to say, let's honour um, the students and their hard work. Let's honour the teachers because this is the first of two years when we're going to have a problem. Because it's not just the students who come out of the um, upper sixth uh, who have had their A-levels compromised. The students in the lower sixth have lost six months of work or more. And they've lost that necessary impetus which turns them from a GCSE student into an A-level student and ideally prepares them for university. Uh, and I think it's appalling, really, that there are um, that there seems to be a bias in favour of um, private schools. I don't think it's true. Um, I think there is a bias in favour of those schools that have uh, been shown over the last five or six years to have accurately predicted the results that their students got. Um, now, if there's a blip, if somebody has a crisis, that automatically means the school's um, league tables get damaged, the school's reputation uh, for prediction gets damaged. Uh, now, in my experience, private schools are probably better placed to make those accurate predictions than state schools. Um, but that's simply because they have more control over um, which students they accept and which students they don't accept. There are many non-selective uh, private schools that have been as hard hit by this algorithm as state schools. But to all of the students who have been hard hit, um, I just think this is appalling and it needs to be changed. And the way to change it um, is is not to mess around with appeal process. How can you appeal for a remark over a paper that has not been marked in the first place? This is nonsensical. The only way, the only um, moral way out of this mess um, that is Gavin, Wil uh, Gavin Williamson's uh, responsibility, he's not going to resign. I mean, he didn't resign last time. He had to be pushed by Mrs. May. Who knew that the lady had any sort of energy in her? Um, but he had to be pushed and he went. Um, he will never admit fault. He will never um, uh, compromise because he doesn't know how to change his mind. So we have, to, we have to look to the grassroots, and the grassroots are the universities, and the grassroots are those that can set a moral example. So I have written, uh, here's, here, here, here's my letter um, to the director of the London School of Economics. Um, many, um, uh, m m many of these um, heads and provosts and principals I've written to by email, I've written to my own college, uh, and I hope to hear from these people, and I hope to hear that they are going to lead uh, the way out of this mess uh, that we've got into. We have had six, seven, eight months to prepare for this, and we've done nothing. The Ministry of Education has done nothing except to throw a bit more bureaucracy at us. This is not the way forward. This is shameful, and it needs to stop. Here and now, we need everybody. Everybody, come on, look, everybody. Uh, do, 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 do support me. Do leave your comments. Do tell me I'm completely wrong. Um, but if you've got some time, write a letter to uh, the head of a the, the head of any university, um, the head of any college, and say, lead from the front. Show the country where the moral centre is. Show the country that um, uh, proper education is led um, by moral certainty. Moral certainty is you make an offer and then you follow through with your promise. You made an offer, you follow through with the promise and accept the prediction that their teachers have made. Whether they're right or wrong, it doesn't matter. You can, uh, you, you, you can then have support, I think, and the government will be better placed spending the nonsensical money that it's going to spend on appeals, spending that uh, on support for your students in their first year at university, first and second year at university.